Sonal is saying, could you please explain more about Guru Disciple on path of knowledge? The knowledge is simply a knowing, which is your own direct experience, isn't it? It is your own direct experience. Now, why don't people know it simply by seeing, by experiencing? Because there is a curtain of ignorance, curtain of ignorance on them. And uh, there is this darkness in their mind. The job of the Guru is to dispel this darkness, to lift the curtain. And he or she does it by pointing. That's all. That is the uh, whole story of the Guru and the disciple. Once the pointing is done, the curtain is lifted, the darkness is removed. It's all bright light there of awareness. The disciple is the Guru and the Guru is the disciple. They are one. End of the story. They were always one. So I take the form of the Guru to remind myself who am I in this dream. The Guru is like an alarm clock. That's all. Uh, more, if you assign more importance to the Guru that the Guru is going to do everything for me, your delusion. If you put more importance in Guru, that means you are doubting your own knowledge and the Guru can sense it and then clears more ignorance. It can happen. But uh, without Guru, nothing moves. That is the bottom line. Nothing will move in your life, especially on the spiritual path. You need somebody to teach you how to put on the shoes and how to eat with a spoon and all. You, know, you need these people, isn't it? Who have already done that. Then you need the teachers in the school to teach you the language and mathematics and uh, drawing and whatever. You need teachers to teach you the music and all. The teacher is necessary, especially here where spiritual knowledge is concerned because the ignorance is too deep and uh, it is possible that this relation remains forever. It is possible because it happens at the highest level, highest layer. You will even see that this is a repeating pattern, like I say, cyclic thing that uh, one or two of these uh, memories, you see, <laughs> they take on the form of the individual and they fall in ignorance. And immediately there appears a counter memory to bring it out of the ignorance. Repeats how many times? In finite times. This is the play that is going on. So we cannot do anything. <laughs> it is all, it is going to be like this. Either you will be guru or, or you will be disciple. This it's not that it will happen only to the spiritual people. The rest of the people, they are in the queue. They have not developed enough to play this game. It is a game. Like, I'll go back to the Sandhmat tradition because they have beautiful stories about it. It is a kind of joke, actually. Disciple meeting the Guru. <laughs> it, it is happening in the dream. There is no Guru, actually. It is all me. I am dreaming that I am the Guru. Guruji, bring me out of this suffering. Okay, okay son, I'll bring you out of this suffering. What has happened here? Nothing at all. All fake. Drama. Preeti is asking, is it normal for a new seeker to get scared with the new experience? Yes, yes, yes. Very normal. It is the, it is the only thing that will happen if you are new. Actually, I was, I was not scared. You know. But I got tired of these things. It's very tiring. It does not end when you want it to end. Like Aslam is saying, I stopped it. Can you stop it? Is there anybody to stop it? It is tiring. Either you accept it or a spiritual work, you see, is not, not for everybody. It's only for very strong people, fearless people. Oh, path of knowledge, I need to read a lot of books. No, 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 no. It will hit you like a brick. So don't get scared. If you get scared, you can... Always talk to the Guru. If you don't have a Guru, now that is scary, isn't it? Oh, I don't have a Guru. Now you should be really afraid <laughs> because you will be lost very easily. Very easily. It is like a dam breaking now. Who can control all these things, you see? Who can control the broken dam? We let the dam break and then we do the, you see, little bit of restoration. <laughs> of whatever is remaining there. It will it will not be perfect, but we do it. A new individual is there. I mean, it is. you cannot call that thing as individual also. Nothing is there now. 
so that is why there are protection mechanisms that is why i am so kind of careful sometimes only for some people i know the others can handle it those who cannot handle it it's a lot of hand holding there that is why it was necessary in the early you know ancient days for the seeker to stay in the ashram near the guru in the company of other seekers nowadays you guys are so lazy you don't want to do this work you know you want all the material comforts and tv and whatever husband and wife and children and that is why it is a little bit difficult but don't worry we are doing whatever we can to support so just enjoy the ride there is no other option if it is not very good still it is an adventure you can say Bito Pan is saying, from direct experience, it is observed that experiences are appearing using sensors, nervous system, and brain, which are in the body. Please help me to understand the non-locality of experience. It is mysterious for me. You see, the senses, the nervous system, brain, they are devices. They are structures in the memory that are limiting and formatting the incoming vibrations. They are not causing an experience. they are changing whatever is there into a limited form so that your intellect can grasp it whatever you call as knowledge can happen the knowledge cannot happen if there is a billion amount of billion events that hit your memory i mean knowledge is just simply making relations and forming relations in the incoming experiences it is like a database it is like interrelations among the database those who are in the artificial intelligence field they 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 will understand connections are formed between various uh, patterns in the memory so the more limited they are the more certain is the knowledge you see those who are villagers they are farmers and all they know a few things but they know it certainly they are very sure of it and look at these philosophers and all this they are always hanging in the air about everything do no one thing then they say other thing guru is also like this says one thing then says other thing so there are so many tangled relations there that if you don't manage them nicely you'll go mad because too many so that is why the this the mechanisms in the body they limit and the incoming vibrations only to that much which is necessary for survival of this organism especially the body but also for the other layers you are never told too much you are never given too much you are never shown too much thanks to this the limiting mechanisms in the layers 